know, I'll never forgive Game Freak for forcing me to wait 30 years for this to kind of come down. Electivar had it, Zeraora had it, yet Pormod is the one that gets the unique type of Electric and Fighting. And while there's a phenomenal Mon, it still falls short. For me, Pormod is a strange Pokemon because it has a lot of layers to be really, really interesting. And uh, what makes it interesting is something that it might actually not get to hold on to. Uh, because its stats is good, like 70 spreads its defenses and special defense at 60. It is physically or really scary at 115. This guy will hurt and special attack, while not high at 70, is usable. And the speed of 105, yeah, that is a good speed here for this scenario. When it comes to the typing, there is a concept that I think is important with this combination, and that is that do the other typing help the other one? And electric really is very splashable. It's nothing wrong with, well, electric. You can only get worse from there, conceptualized, as you only have one weakness in ground. But fighting has a weakness to flying, which electric resists. So there you go. And we only have three weaknesses, which I think are very patchable. You basically use, well, honestly, um, as Corviknight, then you should be fine. Ground, Psychic, Fairy, easy to patch, and resistance to a lot of things. Rock, Bug, Steel, Electric, Dark. I think this is a good defensive type, in, and more so offensively, of course. When it comes to his abilities, all three of them are great. Volt Absorb, great for testerialization. Basically, you can turn yourself to a flying type or a water type, and you can still only negate your issues. I'm it's phenomenal. Natural Cure, greater on the utility sets. And like I said before, it might be a set that might look to be broken in Smoke and OU and Band, but still, it's there. It's an option. It's clearly made for it. And RFS will probably be the one that is used the most because it makes most sense for this Pokemon to capitalize on it. And also, it would have made a lot of sense having Dazzle Electivar Game Freak. What happened? So when it comes to Electivar's best set, oh wait, when it comes to Pormod's best set, I'll just say it as it is. Testerialization is never a key on this Pokemon, it can use it well and for a few sets, but one thing that I've seen that works well with it is Testerialization to Ice, double down on, uh, well, your Ice Punishes, make sure the ground types that want to deal with you will not have that option. Pormod does hit really hard and in the right environment, it can pull that off. But that's all the test I say is actually offensively that makes sense. Uh, defensively, water is the best way to go, mainly because of the Volt Absorb. I think that's a combination that makes sense. And just overall, <laughs> it's a great option. You could also go with Grass if you want to, but it really just to offensively make Seed Bomb hurt even harder. But overall, I see no reason to run it. When it comes to its potential move sets, there are basically four that make sense, and one that is kind of crazy that I want to just mention. First one, the obvious one, is um, the physical set. Uh, this Pokemon gets access to bulk up, gets access to all the elemental punches, and it gets access to mag punch. So, yeah, you see where I'm going. There is, in theory, no reason for running close combat unless you really want to bring the Hurden down. But basically, mag punch will now be boosted by RFS. And with punching level item, you can boost that even further, basically making mag punch really sting. And so goes with thunder punches too. Unfortunately, we don't get Rain Punch, which I think would have been nice for this type of set. It also would have allowed it to run Assault Vest with some ease. But overall, I think that's the most obvious set that will work well. If you want to double down on the damage output, you can switch out uh, Thunder Punch and uh, Mag Punch for close combat and put a Choice Band instead or a Choice Scarf, and it would be fine too. It would definitely, like I said, bring the Hurden. It really does as well. And overall, there is really very few mods to deal with this head on. And the reason Testerization goes well here is because thanks to Bulk Up, which is a setup move, you can actually, thanks to one Bulk Up, in theory, beat Tip Out of, which would be its number one switching to deal with it. Another set that I kind of mention is the set that is the utility support set. This Pokemon gets Revival. I was to say Revival Kyo, that's not the right move, it's Revival Blessing. Revival Blessing basically revives any of your Pokemon. It's only as one PP, which means that this. Pokemon runs Lepaberry, so it can revi revive two times. It is honestly a busted thing, and like I said, in Smoke and OU, it could be very well banned for those very reasons, but this set runs, of course, Revival Blessing, they run this with Close Combat, Wild Charge, or um, a Double Shock, which is a very, very strong electrical hit, which definitely will bring the Hurden, for sure. Um, but it's a one hit it's a one trick pony they also run this with fake out or wish depending who want to go about it wish isn't necessarily all that great because of its low hp but if you're out of options it's not a bad utility to pull off the first set that is kind of shaky but it does work but this is one of the few pre that doesn't get a high special attack which is 
really unfortunate because it has a fair move pool for it. Uh, discharge, Focus Blast, usually what they run to get it with Grass Knot. And then the filler moves, usually Volt Switch makes sense. You can also take a physical move or any Terra Blast move you want to capitalize on. This guy runs specs, specs only, um, really to bring to hurt him because 70 base is really that scary. The thing is, on your switching, getting a staff focus blast and connect that, it hurts. It's like I said, it's a big risk. Sadly, we don't have Nasty Plot to call my, which would have helped this set a lot, but it still is an option. And now to the wild set. I'm trying to implement this every time. Basically, I can see a concept here with certain Pokemon works really well. And Promont has that. It has a utility that is untouched that I think can be very good if done right. This Pokemon learns Body Press. You figure, yeah, but the defense is a 70, it's trash. Let's not go there. How about I say let's? And <laughs> basically, what you can do here is thanks to Bull Cap and Body Press, you can maximize the damage I put on that Body Press. Combine that with Sterilization of Line and negate your ground weakness and have the Volts Absorb in bond with that. Yeah, we got something really nice going here. The bulk up will press on and make body press even scarier. I would run this with Scrunch as his filler move, basically make sure the few ghost types that want to try to deal with this will not have that opportunity. And of course, I would run this with Wish. Thing is here, there are going to be issues, there are going to be scenarios here where you can't recover enough. Wish will help you with that. You can run this set bulky, I would go maximize HP, and then probably jolly max speed anyway, just to really make sure that I outspeed the things that I want outspeed. But if you don't want to go with that, you make sure to invest in special defense instead, as that's the only set you can't build up upon. And well, let, let's face it, guys, it's 60 special defense, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> you don't want to take those ice beams, but you might actually be able to outspeed. The ice shards will not beat you, and the body press will ruin them. So I just, I think this is an awesome set, and I think if done right, it could be phenomenal. So that said, that's the moveset guy I got for this guy. Let's try to use this sucker. I think it's great. It's just, it's not Electavar. It's not a Serora. I think it's unfortunate, but it's just an awesome Pokemon. And I hate Revival Blessing. That said, thank you for watching. Take care and have a great day, everyone.